painless. We're rolling. Yeah. It could have been painful. Yeah, it could have been painful. Well, it kind of was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, what happened to your forehead? Well, I uh, did my base toss routine, and my um, eye-hand coordination was a little out of sync. So you I got really brush up on your choreography. Yeah, that's right. I got to practice more, you know. I mean, and I got beaned on the noggin. I didn't realize that happened to you. I wouldn't have prodded you in the butt like that. How did you? When did you prod me in the butt? When you fell over backwards after we were done playing the song, and I was prodding you in the butt, and I was going to jump on you and like attack you, but I realized that you were in pain at that time. I just wanted to get off stage, man. Oh my God! I could tell that. I was kind of embarrassed. Okay. You're watching Bohemia After Dark, and this is our new video. Well, that's old now. Lithium. <laughs> That's old news. It's old news. Okay, how about we see we still play the old one off the sapphire? The uh, in bloom one? Huh? The in bloom one? The blue one? In bloom? Yeah. That song? Oh yeah. Let's say hi to Chad. Okay. Hi Chad. Hi Chad. Playing drums on In Bloom in 1990 in New York City. In front of the New York Stock Exchange. They were a tough crowd. They were a tough crowd. So what's the toughest crowd you guys ever played? New York. They're pretty jaded there. Playing in front of 20 New York scum rockers. Uh, We've seen it all. Fascism is just rising and rising. You know, I watch the news and I see skinheads uh, firebombing refugee centers in Germany. And uh, to have it materialize so close to home is, is uh, outrageous. And uh, you got to fight back, you know. If you don't care, you're worse than the, than the uh, conservative fanatics that are implementing this on everybody. And you got to choose sides. What do you say to people like out in the south and out in like rural outskirt part of Oregon that may not be as politically aware of what's going on as the people in Portland? It was, it was so surprising that it started in Springfield. I mean, just to, my first reaction was that you know, Oregon's such a liberal state. I couldn't believe it. I mean, isn't Springfield really close to like Eugene? And it's amazing. It's just, it's just. It's perfect proof that it can happen anywhere, and it will keep spreading. It'll start in small, obscure towns like that, you know. to the last second of, you know, before we were supposed to play. Well, actually, a few hours before we were supposed to play that night. Um, and not only were we going to be kicked off the award show, there was going to be uh, repercussions way down the line. That we 
right. It was a really incestuously political problem. I mean, it was it was like it was going to jeopardize a lot of um, people that we work with, jobs and stuff. It was like. Yeah. And when it boiled down to it, it was the first time we ever felt like real horrors. Yeah, that's you know. It was, that's why we don't do. We've been crushed by mud shaking the dog I mean they have so much influence in the record company it's it's uh, it's, really scary. it's really scary I mean bands aren't in you, you asked me what I'd like to change in the music industry if I could is I'd like to uh, eliminate the chart system and I'd like to m base a band merit a band on its on its music than on how many uh, how much product it's shipped or you know what I mean Exactly, like exactly, that. exactly. But also, there, it, at MTV, there are a handful of really sincere, good-hearted people who, who really do like music, and, and they're, they're just constantly fighting. They're always putting their job on the line. Like, every day, almost, they have to, like, stand up and say, well, I'm going to quit unless you let this band play or something like that. I mean, they're... We've met a few really great people that work there. Right. Yeah. Um, there's, there's and that's the way it is in, in, in the whole industry, a, you know. There's a, just a handful of people, but they're really making an impact. They're at least, they're, they're progressing. They really are. And, and, and some of that good stuff filters through, like, you know, choose or lose, or, or you know. I saw an ad for, this is MTV Family Values, and they were, like, selling a family, and that was, like, very, that was definitely anti-right-wing Republican. 